Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bell Loves Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? That's all I got for you today. Hi, guys. Oh, yay! Thanks, Effingham. I know, you are my, you're my kitchen neighbor. All right, everybody. Welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy, and you have landed on what is normally themed Thursday. However, I have a haul for you today. So, if you're new to the channel, you should know that everything is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. I should do a song about Dollar Tree. And that is because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar mm -hmm. and a quarter. That's right, Evan. Yeah, I'm a dollar and a quarter. All right. But of course, they have Dollar Tree Plus too, which we can get some fun stuff there. Just realized I forgot to pull something over. So, <clears throat> I went and got it. It is, um, it's the morning, getting ready for work. I'm getting ready to go to work as soon as I do this. And I'm drinking my coffee. But it's a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, I think summer is finally leaving Arizona, which would be fantastic. Okay, so let's dive into this haul. But before we do, I finally hit 2,500. And thank you to all of my besties. I'm so excited. I apologize. I haven't had a video out in over a week because um, it's busy season is busy season is starting, and I had some really long, important days at work. And then we impromptu decided to go camping last weekend. So. But the good news is, because we went camping, I stopped at two Dollar Trees that I normally don't stop at and found some good stuff. So let's dive into that and just know that this weekend, I will be doing a drawing to give away my, or I'll be giving the rules out for giving away my 2,500 gnomes thing. I'm gonna give like a week for people to enroll in that. Okay, but I'll talk about that on Saturday, fair enough? All right, everybody, let's dive in. So I'm gonna start with food. So Marcus went into one of the Dollar Trees with me and he was looking at food stuff. He's so funny because like we have, I have like, it's literally right here because I'm hoping to film a foodie um, fun day today. For those of you who don't know, my husband and I do food test tasting of Dollar Tree food items. So anyway, so he goes in there and he's finding stuff and he goes, hey, have we ever done the TGI Fridays? And I was like, yeah, like a long time ago in the very beginning, I did them, he didn't. And I was like, but you know, I haven't done them in so long. And then he pulled out these two. I'm pretty sure this chili cheese crinkle fries thing, I haven't seen before. Am I insane? I don't think so. And then this one is cheddar and bacon style snack, crisp potato skins. I think I've tried these, but like honey, if you want to try them, you buy them because you didn't try them ever on a foodie fun day. And then he also found these, which I don't think I've tried these, spicy salsa, el sabroso, um, salsitas. Okay, so that's it um, on the snacky stuff. No, it's not. I take that back. He also found this. So check this out. It's caramel cob soft caramel popcorn. Yes, it looks like it is a corn on a cob. That's exactly what it is, Evingham. But it's it's caramel popcorn shaped in the shape of a corn cob. So okay, and it says to try it warm. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see what that's like. Then just a few other food items. I found more of the True North. Now apparently they are gonna be keeping this. I don't know. Because I think it's I think it's just a buyout of something, and so we have it for right now. But the black cherry, I think, is by far the best of the flavor of these. So I grabbed one of those. And then I needed some oil at our camper where we camp at. And so they have the small ones there at Dollar Tree because, of course, oil doesn't last forever, right? And if I have a big thing out there, it just goes to waste. So this is good until May of 25. So I have a little over a year to use this. So that's about right. So bought a small one of those to use in the camper. Also, when we do get on the road in our camper, I mean, I'm going to shop Dollar Tree for most of my stuff because this size is so perfect for camper living, right? Okay. And then new, hadn't seen these before, but I bought them to show you guys because Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. There's a song. Please put a penny in the old man's hat. And that means we should start buying stocking stuffers and stuff like that. So 
Harry and David's is a really good name brand that does gift baskets and food baskets and whatnot during the holidays mostly, although I do believe that Harry and David has stores in some outlet malls. Am I right, you guys? I know I've seen it in California. But this is Harry and David Hazelnut Praline and Cinnamon, which by the way, I have not seen in their six ounce bag, which they have been selling six ounce bags of Harry and David ground coffee. But I haven't seen this flavor and I was like, mmm, yum. But I only bought one because I don't have a Keurig, any, Keurig anymore. Um, yes, I do with the camper, but that's a long story. So I don't at home anymore because we just went back to using grounds because we were just trying to make multiple whatever. So, um, but this is great. If you wanted to start collecting stocking stuffers or make gift baskets to her food, come on, Harry and David's. And this is hazelnut praline and cinnamon. Perfect. Okay, so there's that. And then I found this. What is this? Sharon, look it up for me because I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, it, it is something you drink, Effingham. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you're so funny. Okay, so this is called... All right. Alani Fit Shake. Fit Shake. So it's 140 calories and it is shake it, sip it, yum. It has 20 grams of protein in it. And so it's a fit shake. This one is called Munchies. I have no idea anything about it other than it's not normally $1.25, I'm pretty sure. So put it in the fridge. I'm going to try it. It's definitely chocolatey looking in there. And on the munchies that they show on the front here, there's like caramel, chocolate chips, pretzels. So I'm assuming this is like a sweet drink. Never heard of it. Alani Fit Shake. More than a buck 25, I'm sure. Okay, so then I moved down to the book aisle and I found a book. It's been a while since I found a book, but my gosh. And then Marcus goes, why didn't you get two? I'm like, okay, I'll find it again probably. This one is called Modern Pantry. This book was $22.99. Yeah, and I got it for about 25. That's more than 90% off. Did you guys do the math? Because it is. So this is gifts from the Modern Pantry. Now, here's the thing. We like to pickle and, and, and um, you know, do those things with food, pickle and dry and all that. So check out the titles of the chapters. Super cool recipes in here, but they're all ones that you can make them and then gift them is the idea. But like the cinnamon apple rings in here, which is a cool thing to make at, at the holidays. Um, Chardamon and lime banana chips. Anyway, and it's got beautiful photos in it too. So it... $22.99, and I can't remember, there was one I looked up and I go, oh, for sure we're making this, but a lot of good, lot of good recipes in here. Oh, pickled ginger, that was the one. I was like, definitely making that for Marcus. He loves his pickled ginger. So there hasn't been a whole influx of books lately at Dollar Tree. I feel like it ebbs and flows, right? So like you get a ton, but I had not seen that one before, so grab that. But what I did find, which is like definitely not $1.25, I cannot find a price on this anywhere, but it is a game. And I'm going to see if I can open it up. Let's see if I can open it up. This is a meme game. It's called Real, Real Lies. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to try and get into it, though. So it, it's a super cool. If you see this, this obviously would make a great Christmas gift, right? A whole a game is always a good gift. I want to be able to tape it back together. Ah, because I'll probably give this to like my kids or something. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what the box looks like. Let me show you this. That's what the box looks like. It's called Real Lies. It says that it's a hilarious party game. And so the only time making up lies about your friends is a good thing. Oh, how cool is this? So they have, I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff in here. We won't get into it too much, but... Do you have little things that you vote, I guess, on which one is the real lie? Ha! Huh? And then scorecards. I feel like this is just, you know, like um, something against humanity. What's that card game? Crimes Against Humanity. So let's see. Um, real lies. I would never let my kid or one word I would use to describe my bosses. Okay. Well, anyway, whatever. It's not a dollar twenty-five, which is what I got it for. And I picked up two because I'm going to give them as gifts. That's what I love about Dollar Tree. You just never know when you're going to find. I'm not going to put it back together right now. You never know when you're going to find that amazing, you know, gift, giveaway, deal, bargain. 
Hunt for him, people, hunt for him. Okay, so that was like a big find. That's actually, I think, my big find from this one was that, which is not $1.25. And the book and the and the shakes. Okay, moving along. Down the um, health and beauty aisle, I picked up some of these. Marks and I use these all the time, like all the time. Okay, so this is close-up brand though. I don't know, have I seen those there before? I'm not sure I have. And I got him some earplugs. Amy snores. Yeah, I know, I snore. I really... You cannot hear me in the kitchen. I'm not putting earplugs in for you. Wow. You're a little testy this Thursday, aren't you? I am not keeping you awake. I keep Marcus awake, though. Hence, the earplugs. Okay. So, and don't, anybody, you can give me all of the things. What I need to do is lose weight. Yeah. Then I won't snore. Mm. It is what it is, right? What are you going to do? Okay. Dog aisle. I went down the dog aisle. Picked up a dish that we need for Jack's at our camper. I didn't have a doggy dish. I was just using bowls. Like, disposable bowls and then so i grabbed that grabbed him water buffalo ears we take we take these we took these with his camping and he absolutely loved them because i bought some of this i bought on the way to camping some i bought stopped at two stores so this was on the way to camping so there's one left and then while we were up at the campground and he's running around with his harness on i would i like put a flashlight on him so we can see him and see at nighttime when we're at the fire pit and i want to know where he's at you know i'm worried about him but i don't want to chain him up because it's mean and we're out in the open, so he should be able to go explore a little bit. But I got to be able to see him. So I was like, I'm going to buy glow bracelets that I can just, just break them and click them on. And they're good for one night. The, the flashlight things are kind of heavy and wobbly and uncomfortable, I think, for him. So I grabbed those for Jax for when we camp. All right. Then, I guess this is still the um, man aisle, right? Super glue fix all. You guys, if you haven't used this stuff, I love it. I know everybody touts E6000, but you know I only shop at the Dollar Tree at the Dollar Tree. And so I, they don't have E6000 there, but I happen to like their super glue fix all. I think it's totally fine. It's by super glue. So there you go. Okay. Health and beauty aisle, I guess still maybe different. Oh, you guys, it doesn't matter. This is a new product I hadn't seen. Stick on, stuck on you nail glue by Ioni. And so ultra hold and quick dry. So I'm in a not getting my nails done mode, doing them myself. These look like Easter nails, I know. But they're the Lee Press-Ons that I bought at Dollar Tree. They're amazing, by the way. They already come with the adhesive on them. Oh, so amazing. Okay, so I grabbed some of the nail glue to try that, right? And then I found this and I was like, ah, this is gonna be so fun. So this is a skull shape. We're opening it up. This is a skull shaped thing of nail polish. And can you see how cool is he? Tear tray, right? And when I'm, I'm like, listen, all you'd have to do is get a little cork, put it in there, wrap some, some twine around the top of it and put a little floral in the top of it and it'll look like a little miniature skull vase or use it for the nail polish or both. But I'm using, I'm gonna use nail polish and I'm gonna use a skull. So this is what I'm gonna do. I want to make a pumpkin that is drop nail polish into the water and then you you like marbleize it and have that. Well, I'll just use this nail polish for that. And then I'll have the little glass skull, which I think is so cool for, you know, some DIY miniature thing or something like that. So I only found the one color, but come on, it's a twofer. I get the nail polish and I get the little miniature glass skull. Okay, so there's that. Yes. A twofer. No, not a toother. No. <laughs> a two for one. A twofer. Okay, moving right along. On the craft aisle, I picked up some 3D paint. Now, here's why, you guys, for Halloween. This is 3D fabric paint, which means you want to do drips. You want to do, you know, stuff off of a, a potion bottle or something. So this is going to, this will give you that drip and it will harden. It'll also be three-dimensional. Unlike paint, right? So I grabbed, they didn't have a purple, but I grabbed a green and a black for that. And then I'm always buying the markers if I see them because I use these constantly. And so I came across these, which are the um, metallic markers, the gold, the silver, and the white. I use these all the time. You guys know that you see me use them all the time. 
So grab those. And then this is for a lotion bottle. Um, they had other ones. It's slime. It's in the toy section. But you guys, check out this glittery, fun slime that would look so... Imagine if I emptied out my little skull here and I put some like purple slime in there that's all glittery. Yes, it would look so cool. So this is called Candy Crunch, but they had all kinds of unicorn dust. They had all kinds of really cute slime containers. Again, Christmas stocking stuffers. Just keep your eyes open. And I mean, for a buck 25, I think that's pretty good. On the bottom, I guess you can see a little bit better how glittery it is, but there is pink and purple in here. So I'm gonna use it for a potion bottle. All right, let's move along to my favorite section right now, which is the Halloween stuff. Yay. Yay. I gotta finish up Halloween. Okay. And for those of you waiting, my apothecary. Ah. Oh, I've, I've, I've done all this stuff and, and I just haven't had time. I need to spend probably six hours to finish all that up. And so that's been the issue. And because we went camping and, and I've been so busy, so I apologize but it's still a work in progress and I will get it finished up. Fingers crossed this week. Okay, so I randomly decided to grab the, East, the Halloween gnomes this year only because I'm gonna throw them in my giveaway stash. So, cause I'm, these are, um, you know, my big gnome box that I'm giving away cause I hit 2,500. So they're only a buck 25. Now they need a little help. You can embellish these so easily, but they are, they are pretty, they're not bad. I mean, I'm gonna give them props. I love the redhead. Yeah. So, but this is obviously like a wizard. He's got his cape. And I'm thinking, you know, just just do a little bit more to this. You could literally make him a little fake wand to put in his hand, add some embellishment on the brim of his hat, or maybe even on the top of his hat, maybe punch it together and put a shiny star up there or something. You could really bring him a long ways. And also, I think for the wizard, I would take some glitter maybe and brush some glitter into his beard because I think that would be really cute. He's got, oh, he's got fangs. Oh my gosh. Okay, I would outline the fangs. Just take a little bit of brown something and outline the fangs so that you can see him because I did not even know they were there. So are you a vampire? I guess he's a vampire. I thought he was a wizard. Never mind. Now instead, <laughs> you can just drip a little blood down his <laughs> Okay, or you could go the wizard route and just take off the fangs also, right? Okay, so um, vampire, sorry. This one is Frankenstein, and he's super cute. But, I mean, I think, again, you can do some things that would just look really cool. Like, just, um, this is so dirty, but, I mean, wrinkled. But just adding some sparkly, maybe outline the lines here. Maybe give him another scar with some stitches on it. Um, add a... I don't know what you could put in his Frankenstein's little a trick or treat bucket would be cute. Yeah, a little tiny miniature, right? Oh yeah, wait. You know the little buckets that they make that the one was Frankenstein, one was a mummy, and one was a pumpkin or something? Super cute to put that on his hand here. Okay, and the last one is the witch. So the witch, I like the witch because the red, and look, there's a little tooling on the hat here. So this one definitely needs some help. Let's give it some sparkle in the thing. Let's give it a little purple flower here. Let's give, give the witch a tiny little cauldron, which they have those little cauldrons and stick some little bubble things in it. You know, the vase filler stuff that's the tiny little balls. If you mix that with Mod Podge and then it sits in and look like it bubbling up. So, so many cute things you could do with these. Not, I'm just throwing them into my box of gnome giveaways. All right, but I just gave you all the ideas. Okay, moving right along. This is not technically Halloween, but I bought it for Halloween. It's a black charger. Now they have a line out right now that is black and white. Um, it's not really a check, right? I don't know what you would call that pattern. Anyway, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it looks really good with a black charger. But I grabbed this because I'm totally going to make something Halloween from it. Just think that this could be a really good tear tray. If you put something on top of it here and put some skulls on top of it, there's endless things. So anyway, that's what I bought it for. All right. Then I found these and everybody on TikTok who's making the pool noodle um, candles, right? This is what you need because you don't have to paint your, your, um, thing. You can just stick it in there. So I got it. Cause I might put one in a skull or something like that. So super cool black. Don't have to paint them. Okay. Now I found some Halloween stuff and I'm super excited about it, but I'm going to save the funniest thing for last because I think it's hysterical. Okay. So 
I had seen this and I passed it by and then I decided this last time like, no, I'm gonna do it. And all I'm gonna do is enhance this little skull thing with some, some darkening of the lines and some moss and stuff like that. Pretty simple actually, but I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, we'll see. You can also obviously put a hole in the head and put flowers and blah, 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 blah. Okay, endless things. But you could also buy three of them and put them underneath this plate as a little riser. Here's your ideas. Now I had already found the green moss skull one. And somebody said, there's a black one too. So guess what I found? I found the black one. He's so cool. The black one is just so cool because it's like so, I don't know why I like it, but I do. So, um, don't know what I'm doing with it. I know what I'm doing with the green one. I don't know for sure what I'm doing with the black one, but I had to get it. Now I have two. There you go. Mm. Okay. And then, um, these, this, I bought for my apothecary shop. For, I'm not sure. Okay. So, I bought this and I was like, ah. I kind of just want this up here and that might be what I do is just take this off of the sign. So remember that, like, you know, I'm looking at the sign. It's actually kind of a cool sign. I like it, but I'm thinking I might just want this. And then I thought, well, maybe I would use some of the side things for, so I don't know, because I'm building, I'm sort of making a little apothecary shop. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. So I grabbed this for that, but you could also just leave it as is, right? And put it on a shelf and put your bottles in front of it. I don't know, lots of ideas, but that's what I grabbed that for. And then I found two signs I had not seen before. And I was like, oh, those are awesome. I think these are incredible. Check them out. I mean, they didn't paint the sides, which drives me insane, so I will. But these are so good. As is, these are so good. So I was looking at them and going like, what am I gonna do? I don't know. So I thought about making it an A-frame so I could just turn it this way, but it, I think it just looks so good on the wall, just like this. Now, they have a slight little raised embellishment here, which is a rose, and I would take that out and actually use, you know, put a real flower on there. And this one has the same thing, a little rose, so I would probably embellish these slightly. But how good are these prints? I mean, these are so good, you guys. So it's like a newspaper in the background. They both use the same paper. That's too bad. So this is uh, Ireland, Tuesday, October 16th in Ireland. On Saturday night, about eight in the evening, their graces, the Duke and Duchess of Bedford, embarked at Hollyhead, and yesterday, about 11 in the afternoon, landed at George's... Okay, well, hey, you can read about that if you want. All right, such good prints, you guys. Come on, these are amazing. I don't know if there's any more. I only found these two. So let me know if there's more. I only found those two. Okay, and then um, I picked up one thing from the Dollar Tree Plus. This is not my favorite. It was just the only one I could find. So this is one of their door porch welcome signs. And there's a big cardboard eye on there. This needs to be removed and buy one of the cardboard eyes. I mean, one of the big eyes that they sell there. That would look really good. But anyway, I'm probably just going to take that off and do something else for the O. But I bought this because I want to pair it with the stack of pumpkins that I picked up last week and um, for a front porch uh, thing. Anyway, I'll do it. This week, actually, I'll be doing that. Okay, I'm still gonna save the funniest thing for last because I think you guys are gonna laugh. But I found something I've never found. I knew they existed, but I just had never found them. And I'm guessing because maybe they just sell out as soon as they get in there, I don't know. But I found it and guess what it is? It is the fairy garden Halloween stuff. I was like, wait, what? And I'm doing a haunted house. I have one, I've gotta get to that too. And so I was like, oh my gosh, check out this little house. And then I found all of the little, okay, let's just go through, because I found all these. I was like, yes, and if you're gonna do a tear tray, you need these. And I have so many ideas. I'm gonna use them definitely on my haunted house, but also on a couple other things. All right, so let's just look at these. This is beware, welcome, and welcome ghouls. So these are little signs, little fairy garden signs. This one is um, trick or treat and a gravestone, but look at the hand coming out of the ground holding the trick or treat and a little gravestone. Can you guys see it? And then this one is beware, keep out, go back. And then there's like a little, it looks like a dog or something. I don't know what that little character there on the side is, but I love the crow on top of the sign. So love that one. 
This one is gravestones. Ah, I love this one. Love, 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 love. This will be going in the front of my haunted house for sure. And then this one is like a little fence with a cat and welcome ghouls again. But the little cat reminded me of Friday, so I had to get that. Uh, here we go with a. These are like trick or treaters, right? Except the ghost looks like he's sitting in a pumpkin, so I'm not sure I understand that one. But trick or treaters, that's how I see them anyway. Pretty sure it's what they are. Uh, love this again for Friday, but look at this tree stump with the skull and the cat there and the pumpkin with the cat. Absolutely love that. Maybe my haunted house should say crazy cat lady, crazy cat witch. <laughs> I don't know. And check out this pumpkin stack with the tiny little ghost right there. Too cute. And then, um, more black cats, which of course I had to get those. There was a few things I didn't get. They had fairies that were Halloweened out. They had gnomes that were Halloweened out. It wasn't my thing. I just didn't, nothing about it intrigued me, so I didn't get those. But that's the first time I've ever seen those, and so I was so excited. All right. Now, what I'm going to show you next was actually the very first thing I picked up when I went into the first store, which was in Benson, Arizona. And I hadn't seen these before this year, and I was like, ah. Oh. And I'm like, oh, I'm doing potions and lotions and apothecary stuff, so I'm going to get these. So I grabbed them, and I put them in the car. And then we were gone for the weekend, and the bags were sitting in the car, right? It's Arizona. Guess what happened? Can I just show you? I'm dying. I pulled them out, and I was like, oh, my gosh, you're kidding me. So here's my zombie repellent one. I'm like, they melted. Now, I'm actually going to take a heat gun and see if I can. I don't care if they're misshapen, but just get them so they can stick. They might look really cool if they're misshapen. But I was so excited to find these and then just to have them be ruined. This one was Hocus Pocus. They're so cute, you guys. Um, this one is Witch's Brew. I was so it's like, what? And this one is Bone Dust. Now this one, they messed up the sign pretty good, so I'm not sure. But I'm gonna take my heat gun. I'm gonna see if I can reshape them slightly and then still use them just because I think if they were slightly misshapen, it might look really cool. And then I was thinking, well, maybe that would become a thing, right? Just to melt them and make them look a little bit different. Um, so, but they were so cute. And like, if you were going to have a party or, a, for a coffee station at Halloween, how cute would these little things be? So there was zombie repellent, witch's brew, bone dust, and, um, potions and poisons. Not, I think I said hocus pocus, po potions and poisons. So I'm just so upset that they, yeah, bomber, right? That's okay. We're going to still try and work with it. I'll let you know how this goes. But then there was one, which I've seen this one before. And I decided to grab it that day because I was like, oh, I'm, I kind of know what I'm going to do with it. And that was this one. But look at how it melted this one. Now, this one, I think it's fine. I'm going to use it melted. I think it's going to look really cool because it's got a weird shape to it. And it's just poison on it. And it's got this little pore spout that's sort of, you know, curved that way. If it curved the other way, it might not look so good. <laughs> I curved this way. I was like, yes. All right, guys. So that is my haul. That's my Thursday haul, but I never do Thursday haul. Abingham, what do you think? <laughs> You're right. You're never on Thursdays anymore because I'm always doing crafts on Thursdays. So, Evingham, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate that. Aunt Sabrina says hello. Oh, Aunt Sabrina, he says hello back. He says, moo to you. All right, everybody. Um, I'll have to let you know how this goes. I'm just like so, even if I could just get them flat, I think twisted here would be okay. All right. Any thoughts? Anybody? If you're still with me right now, give me a any sort of bottle emoji. For my poison stuff okay and then thank you so much for watching don't forget this weekend i'll be giving telling you guys how you can win the big box of gnomes because i reached my 2500 and then the following weekend i'll be doing a drawing for that i think that's how it's gonna go i don't know we're going camping again some point in there so there's that all right everybody have a great day great week a great life and as always from your sing crafty crafter it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood of any Dollar Tree. So happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, besties. Bye. Evingham got upset. All right, say goodbye, besties. There you go. That's from Evingham. <laughs>